just a couple of minutes on Facebook. Facebook is about connecting with your friends. And I have a news flash for you, businesses do not have friends. So there's a whole other way to use Facebook. Over here, a Facebook page. And one of the benefits of a Facebook page is it is open. It is something that Google can index. So whatever happens on your page benefits you from a search perspective. Now, here is the number one most admired brand, not just in Facebook, but all of social media. It's Starbucks. Whenever they do something, they get thousands of people click like, hundreds of comments. And so when I first put together this slide, which is about four and a half years ago, they were at 1.7 million fans. Today they stand at 35.2 million fans and still growing. Now why do people click like on business pages? Let me show you an answer. Let me show you 12 answers. And take a look at these. You're going to see they're very consumer oriented, not very business oriented. And therein lies part of the problem. 40% of people said they click like on a business page to get discounts and promotions. 36% were looking for free samples and coupons. 33% updates on future products or upcoming sales. 29% fun or entertainment. 25% access to exclusive content. 13% education or interaction, sharing ideas, providing feedback. Now, what Starbucks is using is the top strategy, discounts and uh, promotions. So, there is a slow day in Starbucks. Tuesday is the slow day in Starbucks. Now, every month will feature a slowest Tuesday. On the slowest Tuesday every month, which we can't really predict, but Starbucks with their customer information systems, they've got it. They declare, not in the store, not on the website, nowhere but Facebook and Twitter, because they want to drive the conversation. Hey, folks, it is free pastry day. Now, you do not have to print this coupon. As long as you can show it on your mobile screen, you get down to your store before 1030, order any drink, get any pastry for free. Invariably, the guy behind me says, how do you do that? And I say, oh, just go click like on Facebook. Now, they run out of the stores, back to their offices or their homes, or more likely, they pull the app out of their pocket, click like, and they wait for the next free pastry day to roll around. Now, do you guys want to take a guess at what is the single busiest day each month in Starbucks? Yeah, the slowest Tuesday. Genius. Demand meets capacity. So. Enough said about Facebook. If you think you could use it, first go find a model of somebody else like you that's doing it. So you could find Dell has a good model or do an experiment. Vistage, the CEO network, they're testing. Can we get CEOs to mobilize around it? Jury's out. But look, if dentists can get people to show up and click like, how hard could this be? The one I didn't understand was this one, 21st century psychics. Now being psychic, part of the job is to know the future, right? Why would they have a blind spot around future customers? Some things just cannot be explained. Headline, May 1st. Suddenly, Google Plus is outpacing Twitter to become the world's second largest social network. So says Business Insider. Here is the genius of Google Plus. The idea, why would I want to say everything to everybody? That's not real life, but that's Facebook. In fact, that's LinkedIn. In real life, I have different circles of people with whom I have different kinds of conversations, different personas. So Google gives us circles. Facebook cannot copy this idea because it only works if you force people to do it on day one. Right? People don't go back and partition their networks. But if they have to do it starting from the beginning. So two years ago, when I first heard about Google Plus, it was closed. You had to get an invitation. So I called my son, Mike, you on Google Plus? Yeah, please invite me. And then I promptly put him in the family circle because he doesn't always use perfect language online, despite my best counseling. Aaron, former employee. Love this guy. I've hired him twice. I'm going to hire him again someday. Let's put him down here in the professional circle. While we're at it, what a good idea. I'm going to have a circle for my own employees so I can talk to them. And just with, if there's a customer problem, I want to talk to just a subset of employees that are customer service. I'm going to have a circle for that. Oh, well, why not have a circle for my customers while I'm at it? You can have a circle for anything. Now, customer problem comes up. Let's tap into the first billion dollars of Google investment. You're going to see billions and billions more go in. Google's doing a giant pivot to social. That's why Google, iGoogle, Google Reader, all that kind of stuff going away. They want us here. So customer service problem, 
There's something called Hangout. Click, boom, everybody is online now, my whole customer service team. It's a 10-way free multi-party video conferencing, conferencing system. Totally rocking. And we're going to see, if you don't love this, billions more come here. Because ultimately, if Google does not defend their franchise against Facebook by doing social to add to search, well, just like everybody else, they'll have their arc. So it might be the business day. Here is the main Google Plus page. I don't want to look at everybody. Let's just click professional. And now I'm seeing the news stream of just the profes professionals. It's the weekend. Let's check in on Mike. Ah, good we put him into his own circle. Check the language there. Totally inappropriate, so he's in his own circle. We can now control both content consumption and content production. Not perfectly, but at a level that's far more granular, more like real life than what we could before. Now, just as I mentioned, Facebook has the friends and it has the businesses. Google Plus has the individuals and it has the companies. So how about considering a company page? You're going to see why this is important in a second. But again, go find a model. NASA is doing some pretty cool stuff on their Google Plus company page. The American Heart Association, not for profit, right there in Google Plus. Dell, technology company, right there in Google Plus. Go find a model and then five steps. Step number one, when you go to Google Plus and search your own company name, you may well find that they've created a page for you. And it will say, hey, is this your business? Manage this page. Good to click that button before somebody else does. Number two, and this is where it's not so subtle, verify your business to be found across Google, including search and maps. Let me rephrase that. You have a nice Google Plus page, and you play nice with Google Plus, and you use it, we will bring you traffic. Right? To me, that's not very subtle. Number three, they're going to mail you to each of your physical locations a card with a five-digit PIN code. So they're going to use the postal system to validate all the places that your business lives. You will have to go back and enter these five-digit PINs in order to validate your various locations. And then last, the new thing that is already coming, I mentioned five things that really matter in Google rankings, right? It matters that you're using your keywords in your titles, first 100 words of content, the URL. It matters that it's relatively new content, and it matters that it's unique content. Now, they're also adding something called authorship. It matters who created it. So now we're starting to track author credibility and factor that into the ranking. So the same kind of content made by two different authors may be valued differently. So anyone in our organization that is going to participate in social media, and I would suggest there should be a few, should sign up for Google+, populate your page, and link it from an authorship perspective. Because ignoring Google would be done at your peril.